Welcome to its aircraft engineered and today we're inside an Airbus A320 wheel well. So today we have a defective green power system accumulator. As you can see that's 10GM fin number. The, that's our green system power accumulator. That's our hydraulic line that supplies pressurized hydraulic to the green system manifold. So that's our green system manifold over there. Now the troubleshooting SPTSM, the troubleshooting manual for Airbus has been done and the next step is to replace the accumulator so in this step right now we are depressurizing we're removing any remaining or residual pressure from the accumulator so in, in today's video we are simulating a situation whereby a green system power accumulator is not available and the plane has to fly so the big question now is can the aircraft fly without a green system power accumulator now to find an answer to that question we refer to a document known as the minimum equipment list so on the minimum equipment list, we go to the MEL 29-10-04 alpha. So as per that MEL, yes, the aircraft can be dispatched with an unserviceable green system power accumulator, but a maintenance procedure must be done. The maintenance task is AMM 29-10-00-040-004 alpha, which is the deactivation of the green system power accumulator. So to save time, the job setup has been done, all precautions are followed, system is depressurized, so now let's go to it. So once all precautions are followed, system depressurized, circuit breakers pulled, as per AMM, we go for the deactivation. So right now we're already uh, removing pressure from the accumulator. So once the accumulator is fully depressurized, we will have to remove the line. There's one line that connects the accumulator to the hydraulic manifold. So after that line is removed and disconnected, Blanking plugs have to be installed on the accumulator and on the manifold. So let's do it. So in this video is mainly for illustration. So the lines have been, the torque has been removed and most of the stuff is now actually removed or partially removed. So this just show you how we do it. Basically not exactly pinpoint on what we do exactly. This one is, uh, the, this line is removed. So we just remove that bracket. So this is the hydraulic line that connects the accumulator to the manifold. So that's the one we're taking out. So we take one of these blanks and we install it on the manifold so once we install it we torque it with the proper torque wrench and then we also so we install the other metal plug on the accumulator end and like here and it's very important to properly torque uh, these are uh, blanking plugs uh, because any leak from them can lead to a loss of the green system hydraulic entirely so once these lines are torqued and uh, secured we apply a developer on them and some leak check has, be, has to be done. So a leak check, the exact procedure for the leak check, you get it on the AMM. And um, once the leak check is done, uh, an independent inspection has to be done to verify that everything is properly installed so that in case of any error, or in case of any mistake, the error is properly caught early. Over there, that's the PTU, it makes this sound. If you're ever inside an Airbus A320, you'll definitely hear that sound. So anyway, that's how it is and that's how we do it. Thank you so much for watching. Like and follow for more. Ciao.